weather forecast with our chief meteorologist, Dan Sionka in the Weather Authority Center. Dan, I've noticed in the morning, it's so cold when I wake up, but as soon as I step outside to go to work, it starts to warm up. Yeah. The, the, it seems like the lows are very low and the highs are, are pretty high. That's common when we have a drier air mass in place. Uh, you're gonna see um, warm afternoons, depending on the air mass, but usually warm afternoons and, and cool mornings because moisture acts as an insulator, so it's harder to warm it up during the day um, so if there's a lot of moisture in the air, we end up with cooler temperatures. And at night, it also holds onto the heat. So if there's no moisture hold onto the heat, we get chillier. That's gonna be the case over the next couple days with this dry air mass in place. Our flow remains offshore and it will be for pretty much the rest of the weekend, at least generally speaking. We will have some onshore pushes at the surface uh, starting really maybe so on Sunday. We'll see a return of some of that uh, stronger sea breeze, but probably not so much tomorrow. Lighter winds are expected. The winds of today will be easing, but we'll still have some gusty spots over the mountains. This was our sunset tonight from our studio in Salinas. Had a little color in the sky. Also perhaps a thin layer of smoke that came from the Bay Area. Some people were uh, say, seeing that come over tonight. I've uh, been watching our uh, different air quality monitoring stations and I haven't seen any reduction anywhere. So looking okay, but some of it may have just snuck into the mid levels tonight. So you might've seen a little smoke in the air. Highs today were warm. Hollister edged out Santa Cruz by like a couple hundredths of a degree. So you're the hot spot Hollister today. Gilroy 77 Salinas, mid 70s Watsonville, mid 70s Monterey at 73. Although the Salinas airport was at 79 for some reason, which was much warmer than the rest of town. But most of us were in the 70s today on the coast, inland up in the hills. And tonight we're mostly in the 50s and a few spots uh, already in the 40s and some of the higher elevations. So again, not holding on to much of that heat. So especially once the winds die down, the dry air mass is going to allow us to cool down quite a bit at night. Skies are expected to stay mostly clear. We'll see a few high clouds passing through, but that's about it. And then occasionally breezy conditions, mostly in the mountains. We might see it occasionally in the lower elevations, but winds have really died down already. So we probably won't see too much change in that overnight. Might be some spots if you live, if you look to the north and you see a mountain range, Santa Cruz, for example, occasionally some winds might gust down, but I'm not expecting widespread issues. It won't be as strong as last night was, not at all. Uh, but it's still very dry, so fire danger remains quite high. As our bigger picture is gonna show high, low pressure below behind me, and get my prepositions right and all, all those things. Anyway, it's there and, and, and high pressure back out over the water here. These two forces still kind of working in concert to help bring this northerly flow. You think of the counterclockwise flow around the low and the clockwise flow around the high. So northerly flow for us, it's easing as these two systems kind of weaken a little bit. So the low sitting over Arizona will start to lose a little steam tomorrow. And the high actually gets a little bit closer to us too. So it's kind of pushing that tighter gradient a little bit farther to the east. And then as we head into Sunday, both of them weaken enough that we're not seeing that tight gradient anymore and we're really not seeing any wind. So uh, much calmer conditions expected by Sunday. With that said, we will have um, a little change in the overall posture of the storm track off to the north. So we'll start to see a little bit more onshore flow, at least briefly. So I do expect us to cool off a little bit Sunday into Monday, but then the ridge builds to the south and then kind of pushes back toward us as we head into Tuesday, Wednesday. That's going to warm us back up and might push winds lightly offshore again. But beyond that, look at this guy out here. This is a storm system and you think it's headed toward us, but it kind of it heads to the north, which is not too uncommon this time of year. So leaving us maybe dry, maybe showery. Thursday to Friday, we're watching, but looking like that thing's gonna stay to the north. Something else be behind it next week. We'll keep an eye on things, but not any big signals for heavy rain in the forecast anytime soon. So we've got our future track. I'm gonna show the wind version instead of the cloud version because I'm, I'm outside of a few high clouds. I don't really expect anything else to be happening. So overnight tonight, we are gonna see those belts of higher winds in the Santa Cruz Mountains and the Diablo Range again, like we saw last night. They just won't be as strong as last night. Um, and then down in the lower elevations where most of us live, not much wind, fairly light winds overnight. So winds in the hills overnight, but down in the lower elevations, not much going on. During the afternoon tomorrow, we'll still see some wind in the hills and occasionally some gusts down in the lower elevations, but they won't be as strong as today. So less wind tomorrow than today. That's good news. The red flag warning ends at 5 p.m. We'll have a little onshore push late in the day, which will be a fairly moist wind. So they're not too concerned about that. Um, and then as far as temperatures are concerned, let's take a look at that. We'll take you to Santa Cruz County first. Here's what I'm expecting. So actually a little cooler in Santa Cruz by a couple of degrees tomorrow. Even though the overall air mass will be warmer tomorrow, you won't have quite that downsloping wind to warm you up. So I've got you at 76. Places like Boulder Creek, Ben Lomond, you'll be warmer than today. 
The summit will be warmer than today as the air mass warms. On the east shore of the bay, we will see highs mostly in the 70s. Should be a pretty beautiful day out there. Just dry, 80 in Salinas, 82 Hollister, and up into the northern valleys, we'll see some 80s as well. Over to the peninsula, 70s across the board, mostly sunny skies. Um, should be a nice warm day across the peninsula and then down south lots of 70s and 80s as well so a warm Saturday for us and we're going to stay just about as warm on Sunday for most locations although it'll be a little bit cooler on the coast Sunday because we'll have a little stronger onshore flow so I've cooled down our coastal temps a couple degrees for Sunday more so on Monday and by late Sunday night into Monday morning we could see a little fog return to coastal areas so uh, that may not last very long. I think we'll be clearer again by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week and warmer once again. Beyond that, that system passes. It'll pump us back down into the 60s and we'll watch for rain, but I wouldn't get too excited about it. Inland areas also winds easing tomorrow, then much more so as we head into next week. Temps staying seasonal to slightly warm, although that system next week will probably change that. Back to you.